Good evening, Facebook, family and friends. It's Eshu Sango. I am back. Um, today I'm showing you how to cleanse and prepare a candle, right? This right here is a green candle, it's a money candle. And the purpose of cleansing the candle because when you purchase the candle, um, a lot of people touch the candle. The stop, restop, you know, it will go from one hand to the next hand. And when it goes from different hand to hand like this, the candle pick up different energies from different people and whatnot. So, right here is with this Florida water. What you do is with the Florida water, you rub it together, you pick up the candle and you start from the bottom or the top and you brush away the negative energy. You flip the candle and then you continue to brush away negative energy. Right here that I have burning is frankincense and myrrh. So what I would do is I would just run the candle through the frankincense and myrrh. This is just extra cleaning, you know what I'm saying? Because once you use this Florida water, you don't have to use the frankincense and myrrh. You can use the frankincense and myrrh by itself to cleanse the candle, or you can use the Florida water to cleanse the candle. But what I normally do, I just use both of them. I just use, you know, the frankincense and myrrh and the actual uh, Florida water just for, you know, extra, extra cleaning, right? After the candle is cleansed, right, this is a green candle, some money candle. So what I would do is, as I'm preparing this candle, I'm thinking about why I'm preparing this candle because this is a money candle. So I got money on my mind. You know, you got to think about it, concentrate. When you breathe on a candle, you're breathing life into the candle. This is your energy from you going into the candle. This is another way of activating the candle, right? Then what you want to do is you have you want to poke use something to poke three holes into the candle. You know. Three holes is pretty good, right? You see, you have three holes there. Now, as you got the three holes, what you would do is this right here is called Abra Camino. This is herbs is rolled open, all right. And what you do is you take a little bit of this, right, in your hand like this here. You will crush it and you will hold it because this is your energy. When you hold it, you're putting your energy, your thought into this. And you want to breathe on it because you're putting your ashe into this herb. And you're talking to the herb, Abel Camino. Abel Camino is an herb that opens the roads for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. Make money, establish a business, or what the case may be. It's Abel Camino. And you're asking the herb, you're talking to the herb as you question it up because you, you know, you're putting your energy, your ashe into the herb. And you're asking the Abra Camino to please open your roads for success, to open your roads for business, to open your roads for money, right? And then you would take them and you would put them carefully into the three holes that's there, right? Then the next herb I use is called winning. Because we all want to win. So, we do the same process with winning as well. You, know, you take some by the pinch, not too much. You put it in your hand. You hold it. You think about it. You think about winning. Because it's your thought and your energy that's going into this herb. Then you breathe on it. And then you crush it up. And you talk to the herb, and you tell the herb that we are winners. That's all we, that's all we, have, you know, that's all. We are born winners. That's all we know how to do is win, 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 win. This is all your thought and your engine, your eye shape going into this herb. This will activate the herb. Now, you will put it into the holes. Okay. After you do that, you will, um, this right here is the uh, money oil that I sell, that I made and prepare myself. And you would take some of this um, oil and you will pour it in, in the hose a little bit, not too much. After you do that, you will go like this here. Make sure you get up in there. But as you're doing this, you're thinking about how much money this candle is going to bring you. You're thinking about it, you're thinking about it, you're thinking about it. Okay? Now, after you do that, you take a black magic marker and you will write on here. So that's like a petition. You will write, you know what I'm saying? 
how much money you need this to bring you or if you open up a business you open a business may this business bring you prosperity and more prosperity and more prosperity after that for a backup what you can do is with a brown piece of paper with a number two pencil you will write your petition the same thing that you really can do you write on a brown piece of paper and a pencil right and you put the paper down flat right here right and you take the candle and you put it on top of the brown piece of paper that's a petition the same petition that's on this candle is the same petition that's at the bottom right after you do that what you do is you take a time to med meditate because now you're gonna really really activate the candle and what you do is you just imagine that you're pulling out a string visualizing that you're pulling out a string right and then you go around the candle one two three and you will come down and you would do it again visualize visualize one two three One more time. Remember, visualize. One, two, three. Now, this candle is prepared and ready to burn and ready to bring you that money, that prosperity. Okay? Thank you. Until next time, Eshu Sango. Go double.